Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing bronze salmon, something a lot of folks have never heard of, and that's totally all right. Today we're going to talk about it, and we're going to learn how to do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to inspect our piece of fish. We want to make sure that there's not any small little pin bones. Those little pin bones could technically get caught in our throat, and that's not good eats. So take your time. Make sure that there aren't any there. And now we're going to remove the skin. We're going to start off making a small slit underneath the skin and the flesh of the fish. Place so we can get our knife in there. It's like I'm doing right there. And then we're just going to wiggle the knife back and forth while holding the skin, and it'll come off in one piece. Very cool and very easy. And that piece of skin there could be fried up, cut up, and still added to things like salad. So there's a lot of omega-3s and healthiness in there. But if that's not your thing, no problem. We're gonna, I like using a little sea salt here. This is our chance to season the fish. Make sure you get the sides. It's something that's often forgotten when seasoning fish. So we're going to get all the sides here. And then we're going to create what you can call a pinwheel. So we're looking at what's going to be most cosmetically appealing to roll it up. And then you want to start rolling it on, on itself. You want to take the large side first and make that the middle. And then take your, your smaller portion and wrap it around. And then work on it a little bit. You want to make it look as much of a solid piece as possible. That's really what this technique is all about. And we'll get to the bronze part here in just a second. See, that looks really nice. And then from there, we are going to tie it up so it'll, it'll stay in a nice position. So we're going to do what's called a chef's knot here. Just going over, under, over, under, and then over, under one last time. And what's cool about this is when we pull it tight, it's going to stay taunt. It won't come undone for me, which is really cool. But for good measure, one last time. Nice. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut off that little piece of string there. And then we're going to get to cooking it. And this is where the bronze part comes in. So we're going to start off with a little butter. That's going to add some beautiful flavor. We know butter is delicious. The olive oil is just going to help make sure everything doesn't burn. Having browned butter here is totally cool. And what's happening with the bronzing is it's going to create this really nice color of bronze or you know browning on one side of the fish. And we're not going to flip it over. We're only going to cook it on one side here. And then we're going to put it into the oven and let it gently cook the rest of the way through. 375, 45 minutes. We don't want to overcook the fish. Remember, there's a little bit of carryover cooking once it comes out of the oven. Here's an unusual uh, sauce here. That's super good, folks. We're dealing with salmon. Salmon is one of the most versatile fishes out there when it comes to adding flavor to it. It's the fish that can take big flavor. So you might be thinking fish and beef stock, it's a little different, but I promise you, it is amazing. It is incredible flavor, and you got to try it. So what we did there is we reduced the beef stock, we're adding some butter, we're mounting it with some butter, and this is going to give us a nice shine, and it's going to help emulsify the sauce, give it a nice texture for us. So we're not adding any salt to this either because the beef stock already naturally has a little bit of salt and sodium in it. So really just letting that butter do its deal. All right, we're going to add some tomato here. That's a, a heirloom tomato I've got here. Any tomato will work fine. And the reason we're using some tomato is it's got a, right, a really bright bite of acidity to it. And when we have something like salmon, which is a hearty fish, and it has a good bit of fat in it, that's what the white lines you see in it are, um, having something that's bright and acidic like a tomato really rounds the whole dish out. That's usually how it goes. You, when you've got something that's fatty, which salmon is a fatty fish, you add something acidic and it balances out. So here's our plating. We're going to put some of our beautiful sauce here. Notice the type of plate I have there. It's got a, a little rim around it so that the sauce will stay nice in the middle. And then just take your time and get it to cover the whole plate. If you need to add a little more sauce, no problem. You just want to get it so all the white part of the plates disappeared for you. And then we're going to place our tomatoes. We're going to use three pieces here. And just plate them where you think it's going to look nice once we put the fish on top. We're going to pull our fish out. See how we have a nice color there on the top? Really does a nice job. We just need to cut off our trussing string there, which can be a bugger sometimes, but it still cuts off nicely. And then you have bronze salmon. We're just going to put it on the top. 
garnish it with a little bit of like parsley or cilantro, whatever you like there. And you've got bronze salmon. Very cool, very easy, tasty. Hope you guys enjoy that. I'm going to have a recipe card and instructions on the website. Join us on social media. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Like I said, everything in the instructions will be on the website. You guys have the best and take care.